Well, hey, Current Issues folks, let me start by apologizing, I guess, that this, for those of you who are on campus, had to be online. We just don't have enough human resources majors on campus to populate the classes like we need to to make it uh, efficient as far as staffing our faculty goes. So you on-campus people are doing this online. That's not to detract from the quality of the class online. It's just a completely different dynamic. In the classroom, we have lots and lots of discussions. We spend an hour and 15 minutes discussing a topic on uh, the first day of the class when it meets. And then the second day, we continue the discussion and talk for another hour and 15 minutes. And we have a lot of great ideas. Uh, every now and then we joke with each other. Every now and then we disagree on something. But it's a, it's a different experience in the classroom and we can't recreate that online. That said, uh, I think we've got a structure for our online current issues class that's gonna help you to see the, the depth of a lot of the things that are going on in our world today, in our nation today, that HR is having to deal with because it's stuff that we've not ever had to do before. HR is really good at appraisals and things. Um, and there's a, there's a standard way to do that. But how does HR deal with gender identity? It's evolving and understanding how to approach it, how to look at it with a, an open mind, how to communicate that to senior management and to managers that's really what HR is all about. Uh, anybody can come in and learn how to file papers. Anybody can come in and learn how to score an appraisal sheet. Uh, anybody can learn, those of you who've taken staffing, can learn how to interview effectively. But how you research a trending topic in a way that you can educate management and give them a reasonable plan of attack for how to deal with this that's going to be the value that you bring to an organization. So this class is going to help you learn how to do that. What I wanted to do in this video is to share my screen and let you look at the syllabus. Hopefully you've got a copy of it right there as you're looking at this video. If not, pause the video and go print the thing because you're going to want to probably take some notes in the margin. I'm going to assume that you've done that and that you're ready to go. Uh, what I want to do in this is uh, point out a couple things to remember, talk a little bit about the grading and the pieces that make up the grading and some, some idea to help you get your head around what it is that I want you to do. First thing is on the front page here, uh, my cell phone number. I am always going to be available to you, probably most of the time fairly quickly in terms of turnaround time. You can text me anytime. Um, I typically go to bed about 11 o'clock at night, so uh, after that you might wait until the morning before you get a response back. But generally speaking, text me during the day and I'll respond during the day. I uh, don't tend to get a lot of phone calls on my cell phone. That's the kind of the way I prefer it, but if something is just too big to text, can't wait, whatever, give me a call. You might um, get my voicemail if I'm not around to pick it up because I leave it on the kitchen counter when I come home from work and check it periodically. Uh, if you get my voicemail, don't leave a voicemail. Just shoot me a text saying, hey, this is Susie. Um, and here's my number. Call me when you get a chance. I have something that's probably too big for text, whatever it is. But there's my, vo there's my uh, cell phone. You can read the course description, the learning outcomes. What you're really interested in is the textbook and the grading. There is no textbook, but you're going to join the Society for Human Resource Management, SHRM, with a student membership that's good for a year. This class only lasts four months, but starting the day that you get that, you're going to have access to SHRM online for a solid year. Now, if you're in the last semester of college and you're going out into HR, you're going to walk into that job with a membership to SHRM that you'll have to renew each year, but it's going to help you out tremendously. As you get into SHRM and look around, you're going to find so many resources there that are going to make doing the job of HR even that much easier. I don't remember what the cost is for the year. It's like 45 or 49, but I put 50 in the syllabus because that ought to be the upper limit of it. And that at least gives you a frame of reference. Now, you can't get it through the bookstore. So you can't use Pell Grants. You can't use financial aid, those kinds of things. You've got to pay for it out of pocket with a credit card. But hopefully $50 doesn't hurt too much. And like I said, it's going to be very, very useful. Um, attendance verification, uh, verification, enrollment verification, you got to do two things for me. And please, please do both of them. If you do one but not the other, I've got to decide whether you're wholehearted or half-hearted. If you can't do both of them, it doesn't give me a good feeling going into the semester that you're going to be dependable and reliable throughout the semester. So plan on doing both of these. You've got until Tuesday night the 17th when you go to bed, 11.59 p.m. 
Uh, you need to go to the check-in quiz. There's five questions. It asks you for your cell phone, your non GSW email, like your Gmail or your Hotmail or whatever, Yahoo, whatever, so I can get in touch with you outside of class if I have to. Uh, it's going to ask you for, um, I'm trying to remember this, uh, which of the objectives is the most interesting to you? Uh, do you understand the syllabus? That kind of thing. Five questions, one point apiece. It, it, it counts towards your final grade, but not a whole lot. Just please, again, make sure that you do the check-in quiz before the 17th. Also, I want you to record a little video of yourself introducing yourself to the class and then post that YouTube link into a discussion board so we can watch your little video, kind of like online dating. Uh, we can watch your little video and learn a little bit about you. It's always more interesting in an online class to know something about the people we're interacting with. So in just a minute or two, tell me your name, tell me where you are, tell me how far are you along you're in school, tell me something interesting about you that's going to help us to remember you. Um, you, for example, I might say, I'm, I'm Mark Grimes, I live in America's Georgia, I'm at the end of the program, about to graduate. Something interesting about me is that uh, I am my son's scout leader. Um, or, you know, I um, have been teaching college for 22 years, longer than uh, most of you probably have been alive. Uh, or uh, I have five children, or whatever it happens to be. Something interesting about you that we can go, I can connect to that. All right, so both the URL link to the Hello Discussion Board and the check-in quiz by Tuesday night the 17th. If you don't do both of them, you run the risk of me telling the registrar that you're not fully participating. Don't want that to happen. All right, so uh, basically what's going to happen every week is that I have got a list of topics that are developing at different stages in the world right now that HR is starting to have to deal with. Every week, you and your partner group are going to look over the list and you're going to select one topic. So every week with you know seven teams or what six teams or whatever it is, there's six different topics. Um, and you might pick a topic in week one that another group won't pick until week five and another group won't pick until week 12 and another group might not pick at all. But you're going to look over the list, pick the one that you like the most for this week. And then you're going to spend the first part of the week researching it in Sherm. Uh, individually, collecting information, growing in your knowledge about what this issue is and how we're dealing with it. And then in the middle of the week, you're going to get with your teammates somehow through a uh, Teams call through a, you know, whatever, some kind of shared app where you're uh, putting notes out there. And each week, one of you will record a little video. And the point of the video <coughs> is just to share what you've learned, to share something of significance about this topic, why it's important, why we're dealing with it. You want to, <coughs> at the same time, convince the professor that you've learned something about the topic. But you also want to, while you're doing that, Share it in a way that a new manager who's like, I don't know what to deal with this. I've just had somebody show up, going back to the gender identity thing, I've just had somebody show up that, uh, you know, the birth certificate says this is a male, but, 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 but is claiming to be a female. I don't know how to deal with that. I've never dealt with that before. This video not only should tell me what you've learned, but should also be such that the manager could learn about it and kind of get an idea of what our company says is the right way to act in this situation. So four to five minutes for a video where you're kind of training a manager, but also educating me about what you've learned. The members of the team who aren't doing a video, and generally speaking, only one of you does a video this week. The rest of you take what you have compiled that the video creator is using to create the video, and the rest of you are going to create a single two-page summary document about what you've learned. So it might have been something that would look like a script that the video person was reading on the video, but you're kind of putting it into your own words. One of you will submit that on behalf of the team. So I don't need all three of you to submit your own document. Just one of you submit that document on behalf of the team. Then next week, the person who did the video will be part of the team. And one of those team members will be doing the video. And over the course of four weeks, each one of you will have your turn to do a video. And the rest of you will do that summary document. That's what we're going to do through the course of the semester till we get toward the end. All right. Uh, no exams at all. That's not even a final. 
the project kind of serves as a final. We'll talk about that in a second. Enrollment verification, I've already mentioned. The check-in quiz, certain amount of points. The hello video, a certain amount of points. But then there's going to be an assignment drop box called a teammate, uh, what did I call it? Teammate introduction or something like that where you're going to kind of interview your teammates, learn a little bit about them. Don't just watch their video and write down what you heard from their video, but talk to them and learn a little bit about them. And then in a document, you're going to name each of your team members. You're going to tell me a little bit about them in a, in a short paragraph, two or three sentences. I don't want one person to create it and everybody submit the same thing. I want you to submit your own interaction with them and what you've learned from dealing with them. Maybe it's something you have in common with them. Uh, but just indicate to me that you've contacted your teammates and you've learned a little bit about them. So those three things are part of the enrollment verification. The three of them combined for 5% of your grade. Uh, then the topic videos. During the course of the semester, you're going to record three of these things. So one every month or so. You don't want to record the first three and be done. You want all four members of the team to record one in the first four-week block, and then all four record one in the second three-week block and so forth. Each video is worth 100 points. The three of them combine for 25% of your grade. When you're not doing a video, you're doing a summary as part of a team. There's 12 topics. You're going to submit, you're going to be a part of nine out of the 12 because the other three, you're doing a video. Those three where you're doing the video, you're going to get a zero on the summary, which will be dropped. So nine grades, 50 points apiece, will be weighted together at 20% of your grade. The professional interview is kind of a mini project within the semester, and you will contact an HR person. You'll talk to them a little bit about what their day is like, how they get into HR, what do they like about HR, what's tough about HR, um, and maybe chat a little bit about some of the issues we're talking about. Have you had to face this? What did you do about it? What are you doing about it? How would you deal with it? How would you make a recommendation to management on what we should do as a company to deal with this? And then as a result of that interview, you're going to record a little video. A lot of videos in this class get good at YouTube. You're going to record a little video of, you know, four or five minutes maybe, where you just kind of talk about what you learned. There's no set expectation for the content of it other than I talked with this person. I, I earned an awful lot. My eyes were opened, and here's some of the things that that person shared. That's worth 100 points. is 20% of your grade. And then the last 30% is a group project. Now, honestly, as I record this video, I'm not sure what that looks like yet. I've not done a group project in current issues before. I'm trying something new. So give me a little bit of time to figure out what that looks like, and then I'll communicate with you via video uh, of what you have to do to do that. But that's 30% of your grade. It won't, we won't even start really thinking about it until about a little, probably after spring break. And then you'll have the last part of the semester to kind of focus on that. So hopefully that gives you an idea of the grade breakdown. Uh, a lot of the grading is subjective. There's not yes, no answers. There's not A, B, C, D. This one's definitely right. It's a feel a little bit for how professional you are, how well you communicate, how you work as a team, those kinds of things, which are important in the real world. So there, there may be occasions where we, we could potentially disagree over whether you should have gotten a 92 or an 87, and you got an 87. Let's kind of ride that a little bit with a belief, with a, a, an understanding, a trust, that it, it kind of levels out over the big picture of things. Any one thing is a grading component in this class is not a make or break for the class. As long as you kind of offset that a little bit somewhere else, we're good. Last thing related to grades is that I'm going to give you some bonus points for participating in video calls with me. Do it, don't do it. You do it, you get a point for each call. Don't do it, you don't get a point, but there's no penalty. I think the second week of the class, and then like every month after that, there's a video call. We'll do one in the morning and one in the evening, and the days will depend on what y'all's schedules look like. So this week, there's a discussion board open out there saying, give me some feedback on when you can when you could do a video call next week. Maybe you, maybe you can only, because of the time zone you're in, you could only do what is Georgia time, America's time, in the morning. It's going to be in the evening for you. So rather than getting up in the middle of the night, you log in at six o'clock, which is eight in the morning for us, whatever. Tell me when you can do a video, what days are good, what times are good. And then we'll try to get one 
generally good morning time and one generally good evening time. And you can do either one of them that week or none of them that week, maybe both of them that week, I don't know. But on that day, at that time, you'll log into a Teams call, I'll log into a Teams call, and other people will log into the Teams call. We'll talk about what's going on, what you're learning, what's frustrating, if you have any questions, what's coming up, and we'll just communicate, share ideas. It's worth a bonus point on your final weighted grade. So if everything works out, after everything's done, everything's weighted, and you've got an 89.2, and you participated in one bonus call, that 89.2 becomes a 90.2. If you participated in three bonus calls, it becomes a 92.2. So the final grade, plus one, plus one, plus one, depending on the phone calls that you do. So bonus points. Um, other than those bonus points, I'm not gonna even think about rounding up an 89.6 to an A. If you didn't do a bonus call, you don't get it. If that's after the bonus call, too bad, you've gotten three points. So uh, keep that in mind. Great turnaround generally. I'll have things graded pretty quickly, but you can expect within a week. Um, time commitment, final grades. Uh, if the Dropbox is due on Sunday night, I'll take it on Monday. You'll lose a few points. I'll even take it up until the next Sunday, but you're gonna lose a lot of points. Try to get everything in by 11.59 p.m. on the day that it's due, typically on Sunday. It'll open on a Sunday, maybe the first. It'll close on the 8th, so you'll have a whole week to work on it. All right, uh, student services, don't cheat, use email, here's the calendar, uh, and here's the way we're gonna load things out. Again, um, I've, got a, I've got a sheet that's loaded in the very first week's content that has like 20 topics or something like that with a little definition about what the one way that you might approach researching that topic. During the course of the semester, your team will choose 12 of them. Um, whichever one you like, one of you will do in week one here, you'll pick a topic as a team, one of you will do a video, the rest of you will do a summary. Same pattern all the way through, video one, all four people, video two, all four people, video three, all four people. The week after spring break, there's not a topic. You're just gonna be working on your professional interview, uh, finishing it up at least, because it's gonna be due on March the 26th. Around that time period, I'll give you information about the projects. Notice that we'll get to week 15 where you'll do the last topic. It'll be due on April the 23rd, and then you have nothing for two weeks. That whole two weeks, the end of the semester, is time for us to talk via Teams. If your team wants to talk to me about your project and what you're doing and ask questions, Otherwise, you just work on your project for two weeks and turn it in by the 7th. Uh, that's the summary of the class. I hope that that gives you an idea of what we're going to do, that you're starting to think about what some of the issues are. As I said, the, the sheet I'm going to provide you has about 20 topics, but it also says, hey, if there's something that you're reading about that's not on this list, let me know, and we might let that be an additional option for a topic. So be aware of what's going on. Uh, maybe as you talk to your professional HR person for the interview, you, you get an idea from her of something they're dealing with, and you go, that sounds interesting and kind of big. It's not on this list. So let's look at adding it to the list. Uh, hopefully that helps answer all of your questions. If you do have questions beyond that, certainly you can ask them in our video call next week, or you can text me. You can put a, a, a question out on the Ask Dr. Grimes discussion board. We can deal with it as a group. Uh, but uh, hopefully, again, that gives you an understanding of what we're trying to do, what my expectations are, what your workload's going to be like. But hopefully you can all already start to see some value in this course, especially if you're an HR major and not taking this as a, a management elective or something like that. That's it for now. Wish you the best of luck during the semester. Look forward to interacting with you through the video calls and uh, any other opportunities we have a chance to talk. Have a great semester.